Hey, what's up guys? Mr. Free Coiner coming back to you again. Hope you guys have been doing well and taking care of yourselves. Um, just wanted to get a video out here. I know it's been a little while again, but work has been taking most of my time. It's been a bit uh, stressful, so I just elected not to make any videos. I didn't feel like I'd be uh, doing any justice, but here we are again. Um, I'm going to make it short, uh, so just bear with me as I make it through. All right, so we see here the first article I wanted to go over, Jeremy Hogan mentioned something very important that is required for XRP to be a security. Okay, now the this important factor is, I'm just going to read this portion down here because it kind of outlines it. XRP is neither a stock nor bond, and he says that even the SEC concedes that XRP could only be deemed an investment contract. With this in mind, Hogan continues that an investment contract analysis is governed by the Howard case and its progeny. The test in the case, investment in common enterprise with the expectation of, expectation of profits from the efforts of others, was in response to a lower court opinion that a speculative investment was required. Okay. Um, and moving on down here, <clears throat> I don't want to get too much in the weeds, but he says, he highlights a key fact. The Howey case did not focus on the contract part of the investment contract. Instead, the contract was deemed necessary in its response to the lower court and had addressed the contract part of the test just before rendering the Howey opinion. While these might seem legal technicalities, the issue, according to Hogan, is whether the SEC has proven that there was either an implied or explicit contract between Ripple and XRP purchasers relating to their investment. Now, it's very simple for us to understand here. I did not enter into a contract with Ripple when I bought XRP. In fact, I didn't buy XRP from Ripple ever. I've never received uh, an airdrop directly from Ripple. None of you have. I mean, I'm pretty sure of that. But most of all, none of us has ever entered into a contract from you know with Ripple where Ripple was saying that they were going to increase the price of XRP. Even if, and, and honestly, what I'm hearing here is, <clears throat> what I'm understanding here is that even if Ripple had said one of their plans was to increase the value of XRP, that still does not constitute a contract between them and us. They can say a lot of things, but until something is explicitly understood between a buyer and a seller, then there is no contract. Now, don't get me wrong. I am no attorney and, and you know nothing like that, but it seems pretty simple to me. And I know that we all understand this. It's, it's going to be interesting to see what happens over the next uh, few months, but I believe that we are going to see the price spike. However, I do believe we're not out of the woods yet. We've seen the drop. We've seen a lot of stuff. And, and you know, the thing is, after listening to Blockchain Backer for, for a while, I've started to, to uh, believe some of the things that he's saying, right? Now, he's never, he, he's, he's never been completely right. However, he's been right quite a few times. And one thing that I've always seen that, you know, that, that he says it always happens is that when people are overly uh, optimistic, the price usually goes down. And the inverse for people, you know, when people are overly uh, pessimistic. So that being said, I do believe it is possible that we could see further down before we start seeing um, XRP go up. Now, it's not just that. It's not just 
um, the optimism pessimism dynamic um, I also believe the fact that we're seeing higher uh, interest rates we're seeing uh, higher inflation it's I, I, I believe we're gonna we're, we're in for a little bit more pain uh, just like I said last time we and after I did that video the prices went down and I'm and again I'm not a analyst I'm just going off the of what I have seen previously and also just kind of a kind of a gut feeling as well I, th I think we all um, can say that we have that same uh, um, feeling sometimes but just looking around listening to, to some of the videos that I listen to some of the people that that are in this um, I do believe we are we could see an, uh, further down like going back down to 30 cents or so before we go back up now what I find funny is that uh, me saying that in 2017 before we before XRP went up to three dollars uh, and 84 cents I believe there was a quick down um, I forgot what the price was but right before XRP started to climb there was there was like the bottom dropped out really quick and then it started shooting back up so again it's always possible when the volatility starts up you when it first starts it's hard to say where it's gonna go so we'll see I'm 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 gonna deal with it accordingly I'm just basically putting it out there what is going through my mind I'm not saying at all for anybody to heed what I'm saying this is you know I mean most of us have been holding XRP for years since 2017 2018 so I mean right yeah just 2018 but moving on ripple ripple becomes the only platinum partner in global CBDC symposium XRP XRP price set to rally this kind of scares me but hey you know it's hard to say what what it's gonna do again I think the price is going to drop one more time at least uh, and then we also have some some volatility over time to deal with I believe I think the price is going to start to climb when we least expect it and that's usually what happens you know when you're expecting for something that's never happened when we wanted it to when you're expecting it it just doesn't happen like that so who knows uh, another thing here that does kind of concern me I don't like this the fact that ripple and uh, these banks and, and of course we know that they're they're intimately tied with the banks but the whole understanding of the CBDC thing um, it concerns me obviously because if the if the central banks control it that means they control us personally I don't like it that's just me I know a lot of you guys have expressed your concerns about it as well but you know we'll see we'll see what happens here I, I just I don't like the whole CBDC thing um, there's there's more than even just that they are controlling everything uh, if they if they get us on CBDCs it will be I think it'll be the end of, of freedom or rather financial freedom they will be able to dictate to you what you can do to have access to your funds so again my only concern uh, with that and another thing that I, I also I always keep my eye on I know this is just you know it's just sheep but I do keep my eye on it because generally uh, right before we see anything happen it seems like Shiba and Doge they kind of lead the way or at least Doge has um, so who knows uh, but again I just keep my eye on it I keep a few of the coins stashed away so we'll see what happens with that um, the other thing that I did want to say in closing is guys be very vigilant when it comes to see when you see emails come through be very vigilant on this this these are this is a scam like I, I got from three different senders three or four different senders this same thing there's 
you know, there are scams it's five ways from Sunday, right? It's it's crazy what's going on. I've seen some stuff. I posted uh, a a uh, an email that was absolutely a scam, uh, something that looked official from Coinbase. Uh, again, we've seen we've all seen it. Just be vigilant. Tell your the people you care about who are also involved in crypto to be vigilant. Um, it's not going to get easier to detect these. Uh, this is pretty blatant. I mean, I didn't solicit any of this. I didn't, you know, I don't, this is, I have nothing like this. This is not even a concern for me, but some people may look at these, uh, look at this amount and get curious. And this whole, um, in the email, this whole thing is clickable. So we all know that when, it, when, when we're dealing with this, these types of things that are clickable, once you click it, there are a lot of things that can go on, right? Um, you have to be very careful when it comes to this. And again, make sure your loved ones know to be super vigilant these days when it comes to uh, these scams. We also have to, now we're going to have to be concerned about this whole chat GPT thing. Um, it's, it's, again, it's not going to get easier. Uh, once this AI, and it, that concerns me as well, once this AI gets really, really good, it'll take, I don't believe it'll take much for someone to manipulate it to make who knows what we don't even know yet who three years ago who would have ever guessed there would be a chat GPT I mean where you could talk to AI and they would that, that it'll create its own story just based on uh, whatever inquiry you give it right that's crazy this it comes up with it by itself um, generating pictures and all type I mean everything that's going on today who would have thought just in 2018 what is that five years ago that anything like that would exist we and and just think of what's gonna what it's gonna be like in five years once AI once this AI gets up and really running and more intelligent and nothing's gonna stop that they're gonna by the time they put any checks and balances in place it's gonna it's already gonna be too late it probably is already too late. Uh, it's going to gain knowledge quick. Just, I mean, think about the uh, the 18 month, you know, back in the day when when they would say the speed of processors doubles every 18 months. I mean, just think about how this is actually going to exponentially increase its understanding and knowledge every freaking week. Who knows, right? So. Um, I think we're we're in for some things that we are fully not expecting. So anyway, guys, that's all I have for you. I don't again, I don't want to make it too long. Um, just make sure that if you haven't done so already, please like subscribe, hit that bell notification button. Come back and see me. I will be uh, putting out more videos. But that being said, this has been Mr. Free Coiner. Take care of yourselves and God bless.